Dr. Chen Kanin to, to present from lip to music of the Dragon Ball. Hi, and welcome. Tonight's concert is celebrates the Asian festival, as Mr. Floyd mentioned. And you hear not only Chinese festival, also Japanese festival, Indian festival, and uh, as well as the Moon Festival and the Dragon Ball Race. So this is a place for cultural exchange. I think festival is great for uh, enacting one's culture. And this, we like to, through this festival, learn other people's culture. Like, what do you know about Japanese uh, spirit, the festival of the spirit? And what about the light festival from India? So tonight you have a glimpse of that. In recent years, I was particularly intrigued by the Dragon Ball race because it was just one person from China 2,300 years ago. He did something great, and now we're celebrating every year the Dragon Ball race. Of course, the Dragon Ball race uh, is uh, taken up by business because it's a good way to off the build of the team spirit in the company. So, and while I was um, was raised in Hong Kong. I enjoy both the festival in the Western one and the, and the Chinese one, so like Christmas and Easter. And we also have Chinese New Year in Hong Kong. But I noticed my daughter, who was born and raised in Toronto, would not know of this festival. And she would not have known what her culture is like. So this piece is also for uh, immigrants of this generation. So, and I thought, okay, I want to tell this I have a simple story, but in an entertainment way, in a musical way. So I teamed up with my friend and collaborator for almost 18 years. So I'd like to invite my uh, uh, practice, Mark Brunel, on stage. He's going to talk to you about how he put story together. Thanks very much, Kanina. It's an honor to be here tonight. Um, yes, Kanina approached me uh, a, a while back to uh, collaborate on this uh, project about Dragon Ball's musical. Uh, I think this is maybe our sixth or seventh uh, project together. So we have a very uh, comfortable uh, uh, way of working uh, with each other. Kaneen uh, usually comes up with the ideas, and uh, I kind of run with it and try to try to uh, adapt uh, libretto and uh, book towards the music. Uh, people always ask us what comes first, music or uh, or words. A little bit of both. Um, Tonight, we have a, a world premiere of this particular piece. Uh, in terms of uh, thematics and things like that, um, we've always had uh, a sort of rapport with each other, Kanina and I, when creating new works that melds East and West, and that also melds uh, ancient and modern. And I think this is probably the, the best kind of uh, uh, sort of example of that this evening, a world premiere. Uh, that we actually hope to expand uh, and to actually take it down to the water and do it out on the boats. So if there are any Dragon Ball people out there, we need you. <laughs> um, that's about it. Uh, the um, story is, of course, about the ancient poet who uh, sacrifices uh, his life when he, he realizes his old kingdom has fallen. Uh, so you'll see a bit of history here mixed with um, a young girl who is uh, a Western... Uh, Westerner who is trying to uh, sort of uh, understand and realize her ancient culture. So that's part of the mix of ancient and modern. She comes off very, as a very modern person, and then this ancient man walks in and uh, starts to sing and lament of uh, his life. It's, a, it's sort of a piece about sacrifice uh, for greater good. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, you come a little closer to understanding the origins of the Dragon Ball Festival and uh, the sort of the spiritual quality of it mixed with this modern sort of sports uh, kind of theme. That's about it. Thank you. So after we got the text, I have uh, developed on music and uh, since Mark uh, imagined, there's a young girl uh, standing by the ocean from Canada looking to us uh, uh, China and think of this uh, big poet. So, and the poet, of course, uh, drowned himself in the river. So, water is the main theme of the of the story. 
So I have uh, imagined a musical motive for the water, it sounds something like this. It's kind of arpeggio. And throughout the piece, you hear this figure. And also, I'd like to use the water to influence the sound. You hear water gong, water uh, on the glass, like glass harmonica, water triangle, water tom tom. So, and even the singer has to sing with water in his mouth. So, <laughs> Jin was quite reluctant to do that. <laughs> now, not only today you hear this modern piece to celebrate the Dragon Boat Race. To begin the concert, we have a, con we have a traditional piece that celebrates the Dragon Boat Race. And, um, and for this piece, the composer, who is from the last century, uh, imagined that he wants to describe the whole scene of Dragon Boat Race the chanting of the of the people who wrote the boat, the audience, the uh, person doing the drums, all these sounds is written for one single instrument, and that is the piano. And today uh, you hear our soloist to play this one little piece. But I just want to uh, um, give a little hint of the pipa. Besides the tune and the melodies, uh, the player also hit different parts of the pipa. So this sound will also contribute to our piece. And also there's a wonderful technique that you bend the two string and make it uh, sounding like percussion instrument. So you hear about all this on the pipa. I think when would let me to try on her pipa is too expensive. <laughs> so will you please now tell me to welcome Gwen Chow.